I, I was in the army as an infantryman. Um, I did two tours in Afghanistan. Uh, I got injured um, in 2013. I was blown up by a uh, suicide vest while on a dismounted patrol. Not only being injured, just going through a divorce and like a depression hole. I can honestly say since being saved, I haven't had those, those thoughts of like wanting to harm myself. It's crazy to think that something so simple that I could have done years ago and I just never, never chose that option. And that was obviously Jesus. I was lucky enough to meet um, Samantha while I was up at Walter Reed. We were both <laughs> we were both rebounding. We were not looking for anything serious. We were both out of horrible relationships where the other person had been unfaithful. So definitely not in a point to trust anybody. Definitely not in a point where we wanted anything serious to jump into another marriage. Um, so we were on dating apps, just looking for casual things and found each other. And uh, we fought it really hard, but five months after we met, we were married. The social media picture was perfect. We had it all, but we were so empty on the inside. Yeah. I've always gone to church. Every weekend we went to church <clears throat> and every weekend I got saved because the alternative sounded really scary. December of 2020, my grandfather died very unexpectedly. And I really struggled with, obviously, the loss of him and just all of our usual vices, going out drinking, partying, drugs, like none of it, none of it was able to comfort me in that. I just felt like an overwhelming feeling that we needed to go back to church. For seven years in June, we've been coming and just never getting involved. You come and you check it off and stuff. And so we went and Pastor Brian was teaching and he gets up and he said, I've had this sermon for 17 years and I keep trying to preach it. And God keeps saying, not yet. And so 17 years later, he preached checklist Christianity. And I'll never forget it. Cause that's how, that's my Christian life was go out Saturday night party, just make sure you can get up in time to check that box on Sunday morning and you're good for the rest of the week. And so I think that was really the catalyst of we weren't doing it right. And just really getting involved and joining a connect group, joining the Bible studies, putting our kids in Awana. Um, and later that month, I, I officially got saved. I'd been saved a hundred times in my childhood. There was never a change in my heart or a change in my life. And I feel like that, that day there was, there was that change. We both struggle a lot with anxiety and then just the past relationships, the baggage that you bring with how people have treated you. And it's, it's so comforting to come into a body of Christ where you're not worried about what they're thinking or if you're saying the wrong thing or if you're Christian enough or whatever. It's really nice to have. Um, <laughs> just the support of the groups in the church that we've connected with. With her getting more involved in me following uh, her footsteps, it led me to Pastor Mark and just getting to be able to spend more time with him. And he point blank basically just asked me, he was like, well, like, why aren't you a believer essentially? I've just done so many things in my life. Like, why would, why would Jesus want me to be saved? He just, explained to me that like Jesus wants the broken, they can appreciate him more because of the struggle. And once you find comfort in Jesus, you won't want to do those things anymore. I mean, everything just kind of clicked. I was like, well, of course, why wouldn't I want to believe in him then?